So that's the 1D NMR mixture workflow. I would like to move on to working with 2D as this was a new feature that came in 2017 of our software. So I'm just going to close everything here and I'm going to open a project. So within this project, I have a Proton, a Cozy, an HSQC Depth, and an HMBC. I'm just going to minimize this window for more real estate. And you can see that this is the final solution as to all of the different components have been identified. So I'm going to show you how you can quickly get to this final result of all these different constituents that are present. So let me open one where there has not been the analysis to show you how quickly and easily you can get to that final answer. So you can work off of any spectra you wish as this is from a, uh, a project. And as I mentioned, everything gets transferred to all the different spectra that are present. So I'm going to work off of the HSQC as I find this is usually the uh, most logical place to start. And again, I'm just going to ensure that I have the proper database selected. And this database is actually uh, contains spectra of only 1D uh, spectra. So I've got uh, proton and carbon. I'm going to query the database. So you see, much like we had in our 1D workflow, I have my table of search results here, and I've got my spectra comparison dialog box. Now, we've got some color coding with the boxes here, where the red boxes represent the current hit, and the boxes with the dashed lines represent signals that have yet to be uh, identified by the user. We've also got the solid black lines, and these solid lines would represent uh, components or signals that I have identified from my list. So you'll see as I go through and work through this sample, uh, some of the boxes will start to have uh, a solid black line. Obviously, you can adjust the colors to your liking. I'm just going to zoom in to show that, in fact, I believe this is a decent hit for this particular sample. So I can once again select it from my table of search results and move on to the next. So now you see I've got a solid black line reminding me that I've assigned those particular signals. And now I have red boxes showing all of my new signals that I've assigned or that are, sorry, that come up with this current hit. So again, this looks like it's a decent hit. I will select it, and now you see I don't have any dashed boxes anymore in this region, so I can focus strictly on this region over here, can move on to the next, and you see the third hit is in fact a good one corresponding to these particular signals, so I will go ahead and select, and then I'll move on again. It takes me into the region of interest. However, I do already have these assigned, and if I zoom out quickly, uh, I can see within my structure that this is actually just an isomer of this, so I've already assigned this. So at this point, I'm satisfied with everything I've done. I Once again, I can click Replicate and Close. So now if I look at my table of components, you'll see that the component that I'm currently selected on is actually highlighting the match and I can go through and quickly look at the assignment quality for the structures and see which signals correspond to which component again based off of the color coding and if I move over to my HMBC you'll see that all the assignments have been transferred across so this helps for your structure verification capabilities as well as I could do the same for the COSY as well as the uh, Proton NMR.